how to make a photo slideshow on CapCut. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a photo slideshow using just a free tool for video editing called CapCut. It is very easy and self-explanatory. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will get the whole idea on how you can do it. Right now you can uh, see uh, we are on the CapCut dashboard. All you have to do is to click on create new and you have to select the size of the video that you are going to insert. For example, the 16 by 9 is for the YouTube and Facebook. The 9 by 16 is for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, which is a vertical image or a vertical uh, video. Here we have one, uh, two, one. Uh, this is a square video you can use for Instagram, LinkedIn or a Facebook. Now I have shows the YouTube and Facebook and as you can see here we have the web uh, we have the web editor. I am going to put uh, I have chosen uh, some of the images and a video. This is a background video that I have downloaded and these also images that I have downloaded from Pixels which is a free website to make uh, royalty free images and videos that you can use uh, freely on the internet. Now I am going to put select this uh, this video I'm going to put it right here as you can see we have here the video now uh, it has a 22 seconds now I am going to put uh, some of the picture let's go ahead and put some pictures I am going to drag and drop this picture Right here I'm going to put it right now, then I will adjust the image to put it uh, on, not to consume all of the screen, but I'm going to put it right here. I will not put it to show from the beginning, but it is. it will be shown right here after, I don't know, one second, it will be showing. Uh, this is the image. Now let's go ahead to this image, then I will go and make some animation to the image. I can put some uh, animation, I can put whatever I want. Let's go ahead and put this shake for example. Let's go to make this shake for the image. As you, as you saw right here we have this. Now this is the shake image. Now I can also add a text to the image, uh, to the side of the image. I will click on the text. Now I will click on add heading and I will type, for example, let's go uh, top, top clothing, for example, top clothing on people, like this, on P, people. And this is it. I'm going to adjust this to make it look like this. Stop clothing. No, not like this, but like this. This is it. I'm going to put this text right here. Top clothing on. I can also uh, select the uh, the font that I am going to use. It is up to you to put the basics. For example, this is the font I am going to use a good font for example like this and it is good now for the text I can adjust the duration of the text right here I will make it from the nearly the beginning to the end of the photo and we are good to go I can also animate the text I can click on animation right here and put for example a little animation like this and you are good to go. Now I am going to add another image. I will go to the media that I have. Uh, this uh, is added and this video also added. I am going to put this image. You can, as you can see here, we have two of the image because I have put two images or clicked two twice on the same image. I will go ahead and put, for example, a little gap between the images. Then I will go ahead and duplicate this text, but I will adjust first the image right here. And then I will go ahead and put the text uh, right here on people here. Um, let's go uh, with nature like this nature uh, picture, for example, nature picturing 
like this picturing and we will add an animation for this I am going to change the animation of it I will make it like this for example this is it and now let's go ahead and add another image it will be going right here I am going to let it here I will put a little delay between every every photo now I am going to duplicate the same text and put it right here above the image I will go ahead to modify the text and also adjust the image size right here I will go to put a pigeon like this pigeon on a window like this on a window like this and we will be good to go pigeon like this and we are good here is the video I'm going to put this you can put whatever you want right here you can also animate this I'm going to make an animation for example let's go ahead and put this I like this animation and I will go ahead to put more of the photos also right here I'm going to put another photo also add a text adjust the photo right here I am going to put some of the uh, effects on the photos I will go ahead to put a effect or an animation for the photo I can put I can go to the combo click on slide like this this is the slide photo I will go to this photo and also add an animation to it let's put it as wave and slide like this and for the last photo that we have put I am going to put for example uh, like this distort or like this or you can also put the pendulum one I'm going to put this photo and add a text also right here I'm going to put a text uh, I will duplicate this test text for this one and then I am going to put uh, uh, for example little snack or I am going to put snack time like this and we are good this is it here I am going to adjust the text I am going to put the photo right here I will put an animation for the text and for example let's go with this now this glitch and we are good to go here I have created the slideshow and now let's check the slideshow that we have created I will click on full screen and then I will play it right now as you can see here is the picture this is the slideshow these are the effects and this is the second picture and the uh, the text that I have put right here also right now we have this pigeon on a window this is the text and finally the last one the snack time picture sliding right now and we are good to go that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you on the next one